understand the market to customers. Hello, my name is Vicky. I am currently studying business studies at Leeds Beckett University. This is my blog for one of my modules, Understanding Markets and Customers, and I will be discussing the key factors in the marketing environment which could affect my chosen business, Hugo Boss, concentrating on the macro and micro environment. What is marketing? Marketing is defined by the CIM as the management process responsible for identifying, anticipating and satisfying customer requirements profitably. Marketing places the customer at the heart of all the business decisions as their needs have to be satisfied in order for purchases to occur. Macro and micro environment. Macro and micro environmental factors are uncontrollable, however, they have an influence on the performance of the business and on decisions made when creating marketing strategies. Macro environmental factors include economic, social, cultural, political and legal, and technological. Microenvironmental factors include customers, competitors, suppliers, general public and distribution channels. Who is Hugo Boss? Hugo Boss, often known as Boss, is a luxury German fashion brand founded in Germany in 1924, originating by supplying uniforms for the Nazi party for the Second World War. After the war, in 1985, Boss went public and turned its focus to men's suits and created their first fragrance. By 2009, Boss had a full men's, women's and children's clothing line, accessories and footwear and has since evolved into having 1,100 company-owned retail stores with over 13,000 employees to date. Boss's main competitors include Louis Vuitton and Michael Kors. Macro environmental factors affecting Boss. Political and legal factors. Hugo Boss operates internationally in 129 different countries with over 7,000 points of sale. However, since the UK left the EU, there will be no more free trade between Hugo Boss and the UK, as there are no factories. Factories are situated in Germany, Italy, Poland, Turkey and the USA. Health and safety legislations has a major factor on Boss's fragrances, as some chemicals are banned due to ethical reasons. Therefore, Boss could lose customers if they are unable to produce their pre-existing fragrances. These factors need to be carefully monitored to prevent any laws being broken. Economic factors Economic factors can influence demand, costs, prices and profits for Hugo Boss. Brexit has had a negative effect on Boss, as tourists have taken the advantage of the weak pound in order to buy designer goods. Also, prices will have to increase as costs to make the products and trading and importing with the UK will become more expensive. However, the sales boost from British sales did not cover the 3% fall in overall sales. Therefore, the Chisa executive intends to go back to basics and close non-profit stores. Social-cultural factors Social-cultural relates to a number of different categories as trends are on a constant change and people are wanting to look good and keep up to date with them. As more celebrities are releasing their own fragrances, for example, David Beckham releasing Instinct at £15, the less recognised brands such as Boss will be, not be marketed. The younger generation are more likely to purchase their fragrances endorsed by their role models and not long existing brands. However, due to Hugo Boss premium pricing of around £30 to £40, pound, Boss's fragrances are aimed at higher class people that prefer a well known brand rather than a one time buy from a celebrity. Hugo Boss also sponsor a number of different events, including arts and sports by sponsoring an award and a number of different professionals in golf, motorsports, sailing and football. Technological factors Technology is developing in such a way that is positive for Hugo Boss. This is because it is giving Boss customers other methods of buying their products other than primarily in stores. The main secondary method Boss customers use to purchase products is through the internet. Boss operate online in a number of European countries. Even with Hugo Boss's extreme brand awareness, some customers are hesitant when it comes to purchasing online as they are unable to test the products before they buy them. Boss have also created an app for iPhone in order for customers to shop on the go and build closer relationships between the company and the customer in a more personal way. Microenvironmental factors affecting Boss A stakeholder analysis of Boss Hugo Boss engages with a number of its stakeholders, building trust in relationships aiming to differentiate between the needs of different internal and external stakeholders and develops an engagement approach to suit the individual characteristics of each group. These stakeholder groups include employees, customers, partners, shareholders and investors, non-government organisations, representatives, academia and government and the community. Boss engages with stakeholders through a number of different methods, including their extensive customer service, surveys, their website, social networking sites, events, direct points of sale, different forms of media, newsletters, their intranet, annual and quarterly reports, press releases, conferences, personal meetings, visits to the company, collaborations, information events and stakeholder days. Boss's key stakeholders are its customers. This is because without the customer, there would be no money to create products and a business. Boss's main customers are within Europe as they have the highest percentage sale internationally from 2009 to 2013, with 60% of sales being in Europe. 
Boss encourages relationships with customers with all different beliefs and comforts. For example, on November 18, 2016, Hugo Boss was awarded with Corporate Conscientious Award for their outstanding commitment to promoting animal protection within its product sustainability strategy. The prize specifically marks that Hugo Boss decision to exclude all forms of farmed fur from its collection as of 2016. Instead, it is increasing its focus on product innovations and alternative materials. In 2015, Boss also excluded leather and wool from its collections and has been working with animal protection and consumer groups for a number of years. Hugo Boss has to respond to its stakeholders individually, therefore some can become a threat and some can become opportunistic for the company. The main current threats to Boss is the government and distributors due to the changes occurring since Brexit and Donald Trump becoming President of the US. Thank you for listening to my vlog for understanding markets and customers on the macro and micro environment for Hugo Boss.